We want to evaluate each expression. Notice how the expressions contain addition and subtraction, which have the same priority in the order of operations, and therefore, we work our way from left to right. In this video, while we do have the formal rules listed below, we will try to make sense of the sum of differences by using the money analogy. For the first expression, we begin with negative 21 minus eight. We can think of the negative 21 as a loss of $21, and then for minus eight, we lose eight more dollars. So if we lose $21 and then lose eight more dollars, we have lost $29, which is why this first difference is negative 29. So we have negative 29, and then we have minus negative 20 plus 15. Subtracting a negative is equivalent to adding a positive. This should make sense because subtracting a debt of $20 would be the same as gaining $20. So let's write minus negative 20 as plus 20, and then we have plus 15. The next sum is negative 29 plus 20. We can think of the negative 29 as a loss of $29, and then the plus 20 as a gain of $20. So if we lose $29 and then gain $20, we are still down $9, and therefore negative 29 plus 20 is negative nine, giving us negative nine plus 15. And then finally we have negative nine plus 15, so we can think of the negative nine as a loss of $9, and then plus 15 is a gain of $15. So if we lose $9 and then gain $15, we are up six dollars, which is why the sum is positive six. So the given expression is equal to positive six. For the second example, working our way from left to right, notice how we have 17 minus negative 29. Subtracting a debt is the same as adding a gain, or subtracting a negative is equivalent to adding a positive. So let's write minus negative 29 as plus positive 29. And again, because we have addition and subtraction which have the same priority, we work our way from left to right. Notice here we have a positive plus a positive. No special rules are needed here, we just go ahead and add 17 plus 29 is equal to 46, giving us 46 plus 40 minus 20. For the next sum, again, we're adding two positives. 46 plus 40 is equal to 86, giving us 86 minus 20. And again, nothing special needed here. 86 minus 20 is equal to 66. The given expression is equal to 66. I hope you found this helpful.